Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I've got this problem I'd like to share with you. I did it just this morning. I had a really good time doing it. I hope you do, too. Here are the details. We've got a semicircle with the center O, and this shape over here with the side of 7 and 4, that is a rectangle. So our job is to figure out what is the length of this segment from here to here. It's in red that we're calling X. So if you'd like to try it on your own, go ahead and pause the video and do so now because, well, here in just a second, I'm going to share with you my game plan. It might ruin all the fun. You ready? All right, here we go. Here's my game plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this rectangle over here and find the diagonal, which also happens to be the radius. And the radius would also be from here to here. And once I know that, I've got a right triangle. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. So if you tried it already and you got stuck, go ahead and pause the video. See if that's enough of a clue to get you over the hump so you can solve it on your own from there on out. And in the meantime, well, here we go. Let's hang out, do some math, have a good time. We might learn something. <laughs> All right, here we go. So because this is a rectangle over here with the side of 4 and the side of 7, well, that means all these angles are right angles. Okay, that might not seem like a big deal yet, but don't over don't overlook any clue. Any, every clue that you're given is usually important. Now, also, this is a semicircle, which means this is a straight line, which makes this angle a right angle, which makes this a right triangle. So X is actually the hypotenuse of a right triangle, and that is a key piece of information, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the radius. The radius would be from the center to any point on the side of the circle, on the edge of the circle, and the radius is also the, the diagonal of this rectangle over here. So I can just use the Pythagorean theorem find that because once I know that radius, the radius is also here, and that's how we're going to solve it. You ready? All right, so let's start off by finding the radius over here from this uh, rectangle. Now, the Pythagorean theorem we can use for any right triangle. This is a right triangle because it's a rectangle. We're doing a diagonal from one uh, corner to the other, so a squared plus b squared is c squared. Well, the two sides, the short sides, are 4 and 7, and of course 4 squared is 16, 7 squared is 49, so the radius squared is going to be the sum of those two things, which is 65. So taking the square root of both sides, I can find that the radius is the square root of 65. Now, that's the exact value. I could, you know, plug that into a calculator and get 8 point something, but let's not worry about that yet, okay? So now we know that the radius is the square root of 65. The radius is also from here to here, which is one of the legs of this triangle. All right, so now let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem again. A squared plus B squared is C squared. Well, here the legs are 4 and the square root of 65. So 4 squared plus square root of 65 squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is x, so x squared. Now, 4 squared, that's 16. The squared is 65 squared. Well, that's just plain old 65. All right, adding these together, 65 and 16 make 81 equals x squared. Well, since 9 times itself is 81, x equals 9. How did you do? If you enjoyed this problem, hey, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, all that kind of stuff. I really do appreciate hearing from you guys, and until next time, I hope you have a great day.